Hi everybody, Ed Diaz here. In today's video, we're gonna teach you how to rate and search tones inside your Roland Phantom. All right, let's get started. So inside the Roland Phantom, there are literally thousands of tones to choose from to create your music. Now this is a wonderful thing, but sometimes it can be difficult finding that tone that you've used before or you tend to favor. So what we've done is included now a tone rating and a search function. All right, let's start off by learning how to use the tone rating function. So I'm gonna start off by going to a single tone and I'm just gonna choose uh, something from here, maybe like a bass. I'm gonna press enter so I can go inside and I might go ahead and start with my electric basses. As you can see, I've already taken a couple of basses and I have them rated from one to three stars. Let's go ahead and grab another bass and do it again. So I'm gonna hit synth bass and I'll go ahead and find a bass that I like. Let's go ahead and choose. Okay, if I love this bass or I want to use it and find it quickly, I have this knob right here, which is the rating. I'll go ahead and put a one, two, or three star rating on that bass. Very quick and easy. So I kind of like that one, but I'm not sure if it's my go-to, but I'm going to put a one star by it. Let's go ahead and go through another page. And I might say, oh, I might want to use this AXMG bass one. And I like this bass, so I'm probably going to rate it at a higher rating. So maybe instead of one, two, I might use a three star rating. So let's say now I want to find this bass sound quickly and I'm going to choose. I'm going to mix stuff around and I'm going to go back into my basses. And this time I'm going to press enter to go inside and I'm going to hit the star button. If I hit the star button, notice it's empty. Here's why. If there's I currently have no tones in the acoustic bass selected as star or star rated one two three so in the electric bass you see it brought up my current uh, ratings for my my basses from one to three stars and notice it put the three star at the top of the list now let's do the same thing for the synth bass and there we go in the synth bass it brought in those two synth bases that i have with one star and three star now what if i don't want to go through the trouble of having to go through all the subcategories inside my phantom well here's how we would fix it I'll press the middle drop down menu and I am going to go all the way to the bottom to all category. I press OK and the Phantom will bring up all ratings that I currently have in my Phantom no matter where they are. So this is a very quick and fast way to find all of your favorite sounds and over time you'll be able to pull up your favorite sounds fast and it'll once again notice it's going to be rated from three star being the best two star to one star. So make sure you use that. Let's go ahead and recap one more time. I'm gonna to go to like a one section, press enter. I'm gonna just choose a sound, that alto sax, adjust my rating, let's put this at a two star, and okay, that's fine. I can exit, let's go back to single tone, and this time when I press it, I'm gonna say, you know what, I wanna bring up my stars. Well, since I'm in the acoustic piano, it didn't come up, but don't forget, once again, I can come in and do that drop down menu and just hit all category. Press OK, and you see there is my alto sax with a two star rating. So very cool, very easy. Okay, now let's move on to a tone search. What if I wanted to find a particular uh, sound and I don't have it rated, but I kind of remember what it started off with. All right, so very easy. Once again, I'm gonna to go to my single tone area, and now I'm gonna go inside and press the enter button to go inside so I can see my tone list. So currently right now, I am in the piano section, and I might wanna go ahead, and I'm just looking through sounds, I'm gonna, I might wanna go ahead and find my Jupiter 8 type of sounds. Well, if I went to the search function here, go ahead and use the knob, or I could use the screen, I might type in JP8. And currently right now, since I am in this guitar section, it's saying there are zero hits. All right, just as we did before with the rating section, check this out. I'll go ahead and cancel that. And this time, do the drop down menu, cursor to the bottom. There we go, all category and okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and select search again, this time, I'm gonna put JP8. 
and look at that, 75 hits. So let's OK. And as you notice, now it brings up all the tones that have JP8 in some combination right on top of the screen. So I can find my particular tones by search no matter what category they are in inside the Phantom. And then I can go in and use my page to find those. Once again, if I find one that I just love to use all the time, oh, there it is, I can go ahead and select it, and then I can go ahead and rate it so it can come up faster in my search. So let's go ahead and see what happened now. So now I'm back to starting anew, go into my Enter, and once again, I'm already in all category because that's where I was at when I was using my rating and my search feature. I'll go ahead and say, let's go ahead and find the star ratings, one to three, and I turned it on, and since it's all category, everything came up. Keep in mind that as you do more and more star ratings from one to three, you're gonna have more pages to choose from. So if we take a look, there's my alto sax for, with two stars, there's my JP8000 brass with three stars, and notice it organized them according to their rating. Okay, so give this tone rating and search function a try, and I really hope it helps. All right, you guys take care, and we'll talk to you later.